Recently was the anniversary of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Anybody remember that movie? Ain't got no water It was a box office for Bond for several reasons. But hey, we're getting a new movie. Made by... Illumination. Gotta try to fix this. So everyone knows the story of Super Mario Brothers. Mario and Luigi punch the bows, and Mario saves Peach, while Luigi gets absolutely nothing. In all seriousness, that's kind of all you need for a basic premise. But you know we're gonna need more than that. With this simple plot, we need the story to be more character driven. And that leads into... Mario has all the qualities of a hero. He's courageous, a loving brother, good at everything. And in this story, he's the chosen one, but he's not actually the hero. Mario is a static character, meaning he doesn't undergo any inherent character change and development. And that's okay. Mario's perfect the way he is. His role is ultimately to act as a motivator and foil to our real hero. Luigi. He's everything Mario is not. He's cowardly, awkward, and the constant underdog. Like this all day. Little does he know, he's far braver, skilled, and heroic than he gives himself credit for. And Mario oh, yeah. knows this. Yeah! So, Luigi's the true protagonist of the story, going through the classic hero's journey, discovering more about his purpose in this adventure, and growing in the process. <laughs> and now on to Princess Plot Deva- <clears throat> Peach. I'm gonna be honest, I was struggling to figure out a role for her. Yeah, she gets kidnapped. But, she also provides a bit of exposition of the Mushroom Kingdom, and why the Mario Brothers ended up there. Also, she's not a total damsel in distress. We'll get to that later. What the hell are you doing? Somebody has to save our skins. Last but not least is our villain, Bowser. Not much to say about him, other than he's practically what you would expect. He's not totally 100% evil, even if he really wants to be. And his entire motivation is for Peach to marry him willingly. Of course. This leads to several failed attempts at romance, but in anything that doesn't regard Peach, he's an absolute force to be reckoned with. So we have four principal characters. There's also a couple thousand toads, and... Four principal characters. Not a whole lot, it seems, but they would all make up for their small number with sheer personality and action. Now, ideally, Every character would get their original voice actor and barely speak any words at all. But this is Hollywood. And in Hollywood, we have to shoehorn in every big name actor to justify the movie's existence. So in that spirit, Peach and Bowser are the only characters that I can accept to being recast and speak extensive amounts of dialogue. Mario and Luigi must be voiced by Charles Martinet. No questions asked. Our storybook from a mysterious narrator starts from the beginning. And I really mean the beginning. <laughs> we begin with a shot of a building in progress. Cartoony builders are doing building stuff. One particular worker is looking off to the sunset. Luigi. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't look very good at all. <laughs> Luigi's terrified. He has absolutely no idea what to do. And then... It's a Mario time! Luigi greets his brother, and the other workers jump in joy. Mario trusts Luigi to help the other workers and fight back. Luigi contemplates. He resolves to be brave. Yeah! 
Oh no! He can't do this. But he tries anyway. Huh? Wow. <laughs> the great ape has fallen. Mario saves Pauline. And the workers thank Mario. And not Luigi because they're jerks. Mario looks off to Luigi in concern. He consoles him and non-verbally proposes that they start a family business together so Luigi can develop self-confidence and skill. Enter Mario Brothers, a plumbing and pest control business. Mario kicks a lot of Batowski as usual and Luigi struggles. Every now and again, Mario has to help his brother become better at his job. Eventually, Luigi gets the hang of it. One day, though... And so we are finally welcomed into the strange and fantastic land of the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and Luigi are escorted by toads into the throne chamber. Princess Peach introduces herself and explains via an ancient tapestry about how a wandering Yoshi brought an infant with a red hat on a grand adventure. Through surviving the ordeal without a scratch, the baby proved himself as the chosen star child, here to rescue the Mushroom Kingdom from ruin. Peach also explains that Bowser has kidnapped most of her toad retainers across the kingdom, and that only Mario can save them. Mario, of course, accepts, but notices that Luigi is lamenting over the fact that his name or presence isn't written anywhere on the prophecy. Mario tries to get Luigi's hopes up, and thus, Luigi resolved to not be useless, much to Mario's joy and to Toad's dismay. And so they start their adventure. So in case you couldn't tell already, this isn't necessarily a straight adaptation of Super Mario Bros. 1, but rather a loose homage to the entire series as a whole. Most of Mario and Luigi's adventures would consist of going through levels from across the series, showcasing various enemies and power-ups along the way. In between adventures would be moments of bonding between the brothers. If there happens to be enough runtime to do so, we can throw in an interim villain somewhere here or there. I rather like Bowser Jr. Or Wart from Super Mario 2. That's not K. Rule. Don't get confused. <sighs> yeah, I know. I skipped a bunch of things like Yoshi and the Koopalings and a bunch of different games. But you have to make compromises for what's most likely going to be a 90 minute movie. Here we go. The major character development moment in this act is a really big jump. Mario doesn't make it. Luigi panics and, in an act of desperation, manages to make the jump and save Mario from falling. After a heartwarming brotherly hug, Mario tells Luigi how much he's improved, surpassing Mario in the art of jumping good. Oh yeah! Meanwhile, back at Bowser's castle, <laughs> This goes about as well as you'd expect. So Peach runs around causing chaos in Bowser's castle while Bowser is off screen. She comes across a treasure chest, coming with a Starman and its ability power-up. Unfortunately, Bowser shows up, more than a little upset. He swipes the Starman and captures Peach, hanging her cage over a lava pit. Bowser is sad his pathetic display of devotion didn't work, while Peach is quietly hiding away, the same star man, pickpocketing it from Bowser. Luigi is confident enough to jump first this time, and the brothers end up in a large arena. Luigi is stunned to frightened silence at Bowser's size and power, while Mario tries fighting back as best as he can. Mamma mia! No! Yeah, that got a little dark, didn't it? Luigi desperately tries to save Mario with a one-up mushroom, while Bowser leaves, not seeing Luigi as a threat. 
Unfortunately, the one-up seemingly doesn't work. A brief moment of mourning. <laughs> and Luigi gets dangerous. <laughs> he utterly wrecks the castle and every minion in it. Until he reaches Bowser. It seems as if Luigi can't fight any further, and Bowser has the upper hand. But then... Mario explains how the one-up really did reach him, and he used a paratrooper to fly right back to the castle. Satan's me. Peach throws the Starman to Mario. Cue the epic beatdown everyone would expect. Bowser's beaten, but not done. In a final homage to Super Mario Galaxy, Bowser pushes a switch that releases a launch star, and he launches himself straight into space, before turning around and becoming a big spiky meteor, intending to take the brothers out in a fiery explosion. Mario and Luigi follow suit, using the launch star themselves, and what follows is a grand Dragon Ball level space brawl. The brothers manage to beat Bowser, and the Koopa King is sent careening towards the Earth. Peach manages to escape off-screen, and gets a Bonsai Bill Cannon. <laughs> Bowser blasts off again, this time for good, while Mario and Luigi land safely. All's well that ends well. Mario raises the flag over Bowser's castle. Luigi finally gets the respect he deserves, while Peach... Makes Mario a cake. Sure. Why not? The end. So that's how I'd write a Mario movie in a compressed nutshell. Thank you for watching my video. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I would appreciate some feedback in the comments below to help improve what I can do to make this series better. Also below are links to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon pages. Three out of four of which are a little bit more focused on art than anything. And of course, subscribe below if you're interested in seeing more content like this. Again, thank you for watching, and see you next video.